Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Check our website, raywaldo.com, for more information and our other, web, our other videos here on uh, YouTube. Today we're taking an older version, ICS. This is the Kindle Fire, my wife's Kindle Fire. And uh, we're going to update it to Jelly Bean. So uh, we're going to use the uh, Goo In Me uh, Goo Manager application. And uh, we've already installed it. You can get it off the web, off of the uh, uh, Play Store. It's not uh, not a, even a pay app. It's free. And uh, so we're going to use it. And we're going to. Uh, I've already downloaded. You can go into the browse compatible ROMs. Look for Pimpman Eaton. And uh, in his list of Kindle. There it is, the eye candy. Now I've already downloaded it to save you some time, but you can see where it is. You just click on that. And be sure that you check your downloads down here to make sure that it is finished downloading before you start anything else. I've already done all that. So we're going to go back up here to the main screen, and we're going to flash a ROM. Now, of course, this has already been rooted. It's already got Team Win Recovery Project on it. Everything's fine, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and and uh, take this iCandy uh, uh, file that we've already downloaded, click on it. You do not need the Google, the Google Apps. You don't need the G Apps on this. It's included in the, uh, in the ROM. So we're going to go ahead and tell it OK. We don't need to move it up and down. If you have G Apps, make sure that the G Apps is below uh, your ROM. But in this case, G Apps included. We don't need it, so we just go ahead and flash it. And it says, are you sure you want to do that? We say yes. It's going to reboot the, the uh, fire and send us over to the, uh, there's the Kindle fire. Notice the blue uh, thing that says we have the uh, fire, fire, fire installed. And also down here you have the boot options menu. If you don't need, if you don't tell it automatically when it's booting, you can hold the power button down and get another option to get boot into recovery. So you could also do this with uh, uh, Team Win directly. And uh, it's just a little bit more difficult. Uh, this way it just does everything by itself. Notice that it's already started to uh, doing its thing. I'll try to get it where you're seeing it. Okay, so uh, it's going to ask us some questions. And uh, you can take the eye candy or you can take another one. I'm going to try the generic. I haven't tried that. Uh, but this Aroma installer uh, allows you some options. You're about to flash eye candy, Kindle Fire. Uh, okay, so, so, okay, go ahead. Uh, if you do some other things, it asks you a few other questions, and uh, somewhere along the way, I think it asks you to agree. Yeah, here we go. Uh, agree. And uh, so we go ahead. Install without wiping. Well, it's probably a good idea in this case, since we're going from a, an ICS ROM to a Jelly Bean ROM, it's a good idea to do a full wipe. So we go ahead and tell it next. And which launcher do we want? We want the stock launcher for uh, Jelly Bean. And it will reboot after it's finished. Yes. Okay, so we're started. And uh, it'll take just a few moments here for it to install. In the meantime, let me say that there are quite a few uh, other ROMs that are available for the Kindle Fire now. And they're all, almost all at least, are running on the 3.0 kernel, which means that they're, uh, they're with the newest, uh, well, not the newest, uh, 4.0, I think, maybe a newer kernel with Jelly Bean. I'm not sure if it has the 3 or 4 kernel. But anyway, the, uh, this, is, this is pretty much the newest stuff that's available on XDA. And uh, check our website, raywaldo.com, or check the XDA uh, forums for more information about all this and uh, uh, be sure and stop by uh, this uh, XDA developer and uh, give him a shout and a thank you or uh, leave a donation. We're just about finished here. We've got 78 percent. And this uh, launcher, this uh, uh, installer, uh, really is kind of cool. It, it's a little bit neater than the way it works with uh, Okay, so uh, it says we want to do next. Uh, we're through with all that. iCandy has been installed successfully. We press finish and it should reboot for us. Okay, and it's rebooting. Okay, we're coming up Kindle Fire again.
And again, the blue instead of the orange fire says that it has the fire, fire, fire bootloader installed. Oops, sorry about the out of focus there. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I guess because the screen goes blank. Okay, so we're loading eye candy now. Turn it up here where you can see it. And of course, the first time you boot any new ROM, or if you just uh, clear the Dalvik cache, every time you do any of those things, it's going to take a lot longer to boot the first time. Uh, now, after you finish setting this up and uh, the ROM settles out, it will boot in about 30 seconds or even less, maybe. But at the first time, it always takes a while to boot up. And of course, since we did a full uh, wipe, you'll have to set up everything. All of your accounts and everything will have to be set up again. If you didn't do a wipe, if you uh, just wipe, you've got to wipe the Dalvik. If you just wipe the Dalvik cache, then all of your old applications and all of your uh, your settings and all your your information will still be there. Now this does not wipe out your SDA card. The data on your SDA card is still there, but all of the uh, settings and everything for individual applications and all the settings for your desktop and all have all been wiped out. And you see, we're ready to start the uh, the standard uh, Android setup. Okay, so that's the way you get. Uh, the new ICS, uh, not ICS, but uh, Jelly Bean ROM installed on your Kindle Fire. And uh, see our other videos, uh, we have one already demonstrating the capabilities, uh, how you can actually uh, run even the new Google Movies on the Kindle Fire. It works fine. So, all right, so see you next time and check our website for more information. I'll also have a guide step by step of how to do this. RayWaldo.com. All right, see you there. Bye.